Hello and welcome to a quick tutorial of how to black border cards with these postcard pens. Um, what you need is uh, a card with a white border, you want to black border, uh, a ruler, some tape, uh, one postcard pen, I take two to make a thin uh, line before filling the corners, uh, and a piece of paper. And uh, yeah, let's start and I will talk a bit um, why you should buy these postcard pens. So first of all, take this card and make a corner like this with some tape, put it on a piece of paper and uh, then we will take this fine Posca pen. It's called Posca PC1MR and uh, give it a quick shake. And uh, what I've forgotten is a little paper towel. So give it a quick shake. And before we start, uh, we just want to try if the color is getting out in a uh, good filling like this Here you can see it's a bit um, yeah transparent so we will give it another shake make another one looks better but not perfect so this is okay uh, after each line I will going to make the ruler clean and you will see there is a bit of color here and every color you pick with the towel you won't have on your card later. And uh, the, the trick is to get uh, close to the corner. Let's start at the bottom. I'm not perfect at this. And put some pressure on the ruler. And then we will make our first line like this we go another time so and remove the ruler to the bottom make it clean the next line will be on the opposite side because this have to clean for like five minutes and um, let's make another line at this point yeah looks good You can go slowly if you want to have a real fine line. Remove it to the bottom again, clean the ruler. Uh, and now we see that uh, the lines are still wet. So if you want to uh, speed it up, you can breathe some air on it. Otherwise uh, it will take like maybe two to four minutes. And um, if I'm in the blackboarding process, I have three to four cards I make at the same time because as the lines are dry, uh, uh, drying up, I can start with another card. And um, yeah, let's talk a bit about these Posca pens. The big advantage of it is if the color uh, is dry, it's like the perfect color of an original magic card. So it's like the uh, black from this uh, curse scroll. If we are quick enough, we can uh, take a look on the finished product. Otherwise, I will show you a black vice I have uh, black bordered some days ago. So now it looked dried up. So let's continue on this side. Just to be sure, give some pressure here, shake again, and make a slow and steady line. It's a bit watery, so we will go again. This is fine. We move to the bottom. So make a quick cleanup, turn it around, and 
and let's do that last corner. So. Clean up your ruler. So, and uh, while this thin line of paint is drying, we can take the big Bosca to, to fill the margins. And uh, yeah, for most of the time, I just use that big Posca. But uh, the problem is that uh, you you will get a more um, yeah not as fine line as with a small small one for me. So let's shake this and now you can just fill up these white spaces. You don't have to be uh, quick, you don't have to be uh, make lines like this, you can just fill up what you see. Let's start with uh, these and even if you have white spots left after your first round, you can come back for another, it's no problem, uh, but you will see that for the effort we put in we get a very nice result if you try to sell those cards on marketplaces like card market or something uh, the guidelines tell you that they are uh, poor because of the color but uh, in my experience we see not so expensive cards you don't have problem to sell these because if you are putting some effort uh, into black border these uh, they will have a nice result Maybe you're wondering because uh, the color is different, but ju that's just because um, the thin lines are dried up. So if you want, you can jump to the end of the video to see the end product. So after you made this for like three or four times, uh, you will need like four to five minutes for each card. If you make like three or four cards in a line. So last side. So if it's uh, dried up and you are realizing that there are some white spots left, you can uh, still add some color after some weeks or some months. I did not have a problem with this. And if the paint isn't uh, dried up, you can just take a toothpick to uh, remove some paint, but I don't have the best results with it yet. So yeah, it's part of the process. So let's take a quick look, looks pretty good, here we need some more filling. So while this will dry up, I will show you a prepared black vise I made for my stasis deck. I just need a second. So here's a card I painted like maybe two weeks back 
and if you compare these colors to the curve scroll, that's uh, yeah maybe not uh, due to the lightning, but uh, in real it's pretty close to the magic color. It's uh, yeah one of the closest colors to the original uh, frame that I've ever seen. And if you play it like uh, this in some kind of sleeve, it looks pretty nice. And I can show you a quick peek in my last project. Uh, these were the black visors. So this is a false black vise. And some stasis. And for the end, I'm going to show you two sideboard cards. Uh, they were all uh, white bordered at some time. And so with these two pens, I made the black bordered. But uh, yeah, you would see, just do it on uh, cards where you could take the loss in value. I did not paint my City of Brass from 7th edition and Birds of Paradise from 7th edition yet. But uh, which is card, I'm getting closer to a good result and getting more confidence and make a black border on this. And uh, yeah, just for now, this will be dry up in like two minutes and then I will sleeve that up. If you have any questions, just leave a comment and I hope you enjoy your black border card soon.